Welcome back to AlgaJS. Today's question is leak code 213, house robber 2. So just an addition from house robber. So if you haven't checked my video on that, please do so. So house robber 2, we have a number of houses. Each house contains valuables and we need to maximize the amount of valuables that we can steal from these houses. Now we cannot steal from adjacent houses, otherwise it will set off the alarms. So we only are allowed to steal from non-adjacent houses. The catch is with house robber 2, there is a cycle. So 2 is connected to two here. The value at the first index is connected to the value at the last index. So let's dive straight into the walkthrough. So previously with house robber, we could carry this out quite easily by creating a DP array at position at the first house. What is the maximum that we can steal from? Well, we can steal one, right? At the second house, what is the maximum we can steal? Well, the maximum is between two and one. So it's going to be two. Then at this point at three, the maximum we can steal here is this value plus DP at this value or the previous value. So it's going to be four, right? And then lastly, at one, it'll be the same. So it'll be either the current value we're on from this house plus DP at the non-adjacent house. So two or the previous value. So they're both equal to the same. So it would be three. And then we just choose the maximum values that we can steal from this house, which would be four. However, now the houses are arranged as such. So if we repeat the process and we steal from the first house, we can get one. From the second, the maximum we get two. From the third, the maximum we get is four. But then the last one, if we steal from this house, this is now connected to this one, which we've already stolen from. So if we steal from this house, we're gonna set off the alarm. So a way around this is to create two DP arrays. So let's call this DP1, and let's call this DP2. And with DP of one, we're going to steal from the first house all the way up to, but excluding the last house. And conversely, with DP of two, we're going to steal from the second house all the way through to the last house. So let's do that. So with DP of one, what's the maximum we can steal at the first house? Well, it's one. What's the maximum we can steal at the second house? Well, it's going to be the maximum between the first and second house. So that's going to be two. And then what's the maximum we can steal at the third house? Well, it's going to be this value plus one. So the DP at the non-adjacent value, or it's going to be the previous value. So that'd be four. And then this last position is just going to be an empty value. Now for DP of two, we're going to be stealing from the second house all the way through to the last house. So initially we're going to have an empty item here. And what would be the maximum we steal from this house? Well, it's going to be two, right? Because there's no previous values. What is the maximum we can steal from three? Well, it's going to be the maximum between three and two. So that's going to be three. And then finally at one, what is the maximum we can steal here? Well, it's going to be this value plus the non-adjacent value within the DP array or the previous value. They're both equal to each other. So it's going to be three. Now we have two DP arrays. So what do we need to do in order to get the maximum between the two? Well, we're just going to look at this value and this value and choose the maximum between the two. So this is going to return us with four. And that in a nutshell is the solution to house robber two. So firstly, let's cover the edge cases. So if nums.length is equal to one, we can return nums at zero. If nums.length is equal to two, we can return the maximum between the two numbers. So nums at zero and nums at one. Then we need to create two DP arrays. So that DP one equals new array. And it's going to be with the length of the nums. Same for DP two. And then we can create a function in order to compute the answers to DP of one and to DP of two. So let's call it rob twice. So rob twice is called firstly, starting from the first house all the way up to, but not including the last house. And we're going to pass in DP of one in nums. Rob twice is now going to be called for DP of two. So this is going to start at the second house. It's going to go up to the last house and we can pass in DP of two and nums. Then we can create the function. So rob twice, pass in i, nums length, DP and nums. So in this DP of i is going to equal nums at i. So this is the first value. DP at i plus one is going to be the maximum between the first value and the second value. So max DP at i nums at i plus one. And then we can loop through. So j is equal to i plus two because we've already taken care of i at zero and i plus one. j 
j is less than or equal to nums.len. And then it's the standard house robber dynamic solution. So dp at j is equal to math.max dp j minus 1 dp j minus 2 plus nums at j. And like we said in the walkthrough, at the end, dp of 1 is going to equal something like 1, 2, 4, and then there's going to be an empty value, and dp at 2 is going to equal an empty value, 2, 3, and 3. So we need to calculate the maximum between dp at 1 at this value and dp at 2 at this value. So if we return math.max dp at 1, numbers.length minus 2, and dp at 2, nums.length minus 1, and submit that, get our solution. So let's submit this. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.